Hello and good afternoon, CTS 265, Section 840 students for the Fall 2015 semester at Anne Arundel Community College. This is the CCMP route course, and this is actually the final uh, Cisco Learning Labs activity that we'll be doing for the semester, and this is all about challenge number 11. So let's take a look at our scenario over here on the left. So government agency has several regional offices with EIGRP routing uh, taking place at both uh, locate or at all their locations for IPv4 and IPv6 and we are going to secure the control plane here with EIGRP using routing authentication and so this dovetails nicely off of the last discovery activity as well as the reading uh, from the second half of chapter 8 in the foundation learning guide so let's go ahead and dive in here let's see secure EIGRP on router 1 2 and 4 using the key Cisco and the keychain EIGRP underscore key. Uh, we're going to do named EIGRP for both IPv4 and IPv6 between router 1 and router 2. So let's go ahead and knock that out first. So let's jump onto router 1 here. And what's the first thing that we need to do? Well, we'll go from user exec to privilege exec and then into global config. And we're going to create the keychain. And we're going to name that keychain EIGRP underscore keys. And this is very similar to the discovery activity. So the key number that we're going to use will be key number one with a key string of all caps Cisco. So now that we've got that done on router one, let's go to router two and do the exact same thing. So we'll go from user exec into privilege exec and then into global config. And we're going to say keychain EIGRP underscore keys. Remember, the keychain name is a locally significant name. The key number must match and the key string needs to match. So we'll make sure we get that done uh, right out of the gate. Okay, and then same thing on router 4. It's interesting, they show router 3 here. I'm not, I have to double check see what we're doing on router 3. So we go from user exec to privilege exec into global config. And again, keychain is going to be EIGRP underscore keys, key number 1, and then the key string is simply Cisco, C-I-S-C-O. So now the key to remember here is that... Let's come back over here real quick. R1, 2, and 4 using the key system. Okay. okay, configure. So we're going to now go on to routers 1 and 2 into the named configuration mode. And the difference with the named configuration mode is this is where we make the um, address family interface changes. So instead of going into the physical interfaces on the router, we go into the EIGRP named configuration mode. Do show run section EIGRP. And we go into the AF interface sub configuration mode uh, in order to enable the authentication between the two routers so let's take a quick look here so what version are we running well this is version uh, it's IOU but it's still it's version 15.2 and so here's what's interesting uh, we definitely do a lab um, and it's activity 8.2 where we use SHA-256 now here we're using MD5 and that's okay you definitely want to use SHA-256 uh, in your environment, in your real-world environment. And here's what's interesting. Um, and let me actually bring back uh, this screen here. So this is the configuration guide uh, for EIGRP on the Cisco website for 15.5 uh, MNT, the release of code, or 15 uh, MNT code. And you'll see here it talks about the feature being able to do, there's a, actually an entire chapter here, and I scanned through here and I could not find mention of the first release or when this became um, part of the EIGRP code. And in interestingly enough, typically it's here where it says where it was first supported. But it, we've got a blank here. So the only way that I can narrow this down is to say uh, that with the 15.1 code, it's not there. When you do the IP authentication mode, EIGRP, with 15.1.4, you only have MD5. With 15.3.3, you have the option here. So somewhere between 15.1.4 and 15.3.3, uh, HMAC SHA-256 became an actual option. Uh, for you to use. But that's definitely what you should be doing. However, here, uh, the focus in the lab is going to be on 
MD5. So let's jump back onto router one here, and we're going to go into, um, not address family, we're going to go into router uh, EIGRP, and the name was CCMP, I believe? CCMP. All right. Whoops. And I think I may have just created do show run section EIGRP. And yes, I did. So I just created a new, uh, it's def definitely case sensitive. So no router EIGRP, CCMP, and then router EIGRP capital CCMP. So we're going to go into address family, IPv4, unicast, AS100. Now here's where we need to drill down to the AF interface mode. And so my interface will be Ethernet 01 going to router 2's Ethernet 00. So I would say AF interface, Ethernet 01. Now this puts me into the AF interface configuration mode for Ethernet 01. And here is simply where we say authentication mode MD5 and then authentication keychain. And you can see that the adjacency went down as soon as I set authentication mode MD5, the adjacency is down. Now I put in authentication keychain EIGRP underscore keys. Now, the adjacency is going to stay down until we go over to router 2, where we're going to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to say router EIGRP CCNP. We're going to go into address family IPv4 unicast. I'm going to assume it's AS100. It would tell us if it wasn't right there. I'm going to say AF interface Ethernet 00. And let me confirm. Yes, AF, AF interface Ethernet 00. And we're simply going to run the same commands, right? So authentication mode MD5. And let me do a question mark here. And actually, this 15.2 code has the HMAC SHA-256. So that would definitely be the preferred approach. So somewhere between 15.1 and 15.3.3, this is 15.2. It's here. So definitely be aware of that. So authentication mode MD5, and then we're going to say authentication keychain, and then simply the name of our keychain, EIGRP underscore, whoops, keys, and now we should have within the next five seconds the adjacency come back up, and sure enough, there it is. So router 1 and router 2 with IPv4 are both set up. Let's do the same thing for IPv6. So let me back out here. Address family IPv6 unicast, and the AS was 200. So same thing, right? We go to AF interface. On router 2, it's Ethernet 00. And I can actually pull those commands right back up. Authentication mode MD5 and authentication mode or authentication keychain EIGRP keys. Now the IPv6 adjacency has gone down. So do uh, show I or yeah, do show IPv6 EIGRP neighbors. And you can see that we have no neighbor relationships. And on router one, how about on router one? If I were to say do show IPv6 EIGRP neighbors. So we do have adjacencies, but not uh, with router 2. So let's go ahead and, and fix that for IPv6. Let's back out here. Address family, IPv6, unicast, AS200. We're going to go into AF interface mode on Ethernet 01. And let's pull those commands back. They should still be there. Authentication mode MD5. And then authentication keychain, EIGRP keys. And look at that. We've got our adjacency back. So now both control planes, the control plane for um, EIGRP v4 and EIGRP v6 um, have both been configured uh, with MD5 authentication. And so let me come back over here. Let's take a look. Um, configure. OK, so we're good here. We've actually done this. We've created the keychains everywhere. We've just finished this part, so now what we need to do is configure EIGRP IPv6 authentication. And we need to do it, though, between R1 and R4. And as you can see, R3 is out there, but we don't do anything with R3. And um, do not use the named configuration mode or configuration method on R4. So that's going to be done under the uh, the interface, right? Instead of the AF interface, we're going to go to the physical interface. But first, let's take care of router R1 here. Um, and we need to get out of that one. And we're going to go to AF interface. And what is our interface over to router 4? OK, so we're Ethernet 00 on both. So on router 1, I'm going to say AF interface mode, Ethernet 00. And then we're going to pull those same commands up. We're going to put the authentication keychain EIGRP keys. 
and authentication mode MD5. As you can see, the adjacency went down right away. So show IPv6 EIGRP neighbors, EIGRP neighbors, and I've got my adjacencies out Ethernet 01 to router 2, Ethernet 02 to router 3, but Ethernet 00 to router 4 is not there. So here we are on router 4. If I were to say do show run section EIGRP, you can see that we are not doing named mode. So we're doing EIGRP v, uh, v6 as well as v4, but with the v6 config, it is not the named configuration mode. So what we need to do here is just what we did under the interface when we were doing EIGRP v, excuse me, v4 uh, authentication, is we're going to go into interface Ethernet 00, and I'm going to say IP authentication whoops, mode, and for EIGRP and we are AS100. And you can see here under the interface, uh, we can't do SHA-256. We're only going to be able to do MD5, right? So we'll say uh, IP authentication mode EIGRP100. And actually, hold on one second. Yeah, MD5, that's right. Okay, I was getting any of the... Uh, AS numbers mixed up. So remember, as soon as we enter that command, uh, the authentication mode has changed and the neighbor relationship, uh, it's actually shows down here, but it should have shown down already. Am I in the right do show run interface Ethernet 00? Did I go to the wrong interface? I did not. Okay, so we should see that come back up. If, oh, you know why. So does anybody see the mistake I just made? So that just took the adjacency down with router 1, and it caught my attention because we should the adjacency should already be down. And for IPv6, it is already down. So, But for IPv4, which I just broke here, it was not down. So here's what we need to do. I need to make sure that I get my IP versions correct, and we are actually using IPv6. That's what we're trying to do here. So IPv6 authentication mode EIGRP, and you can see the adjacency came back up for IPv4. So now we've got the IPv6 authentication mode EIGRP 100 MD5. Now the last thing we need to do is to say, tie the keys in here, IPv6 uh, authentication, make sure we get IPv6 in there, keychain EIGRP, and in fact, you know what, it is 200, so boy, I'm kind of stuck here. And we're going to say, where did we run that IPv6? So we're going to remove this because there is no AS100. And then we're going to rerun this for autonomous system 200 for IPv6. All right, there we go. So now we're going to say IPv6 authentication keychain EIGRP 200 EI, oops, EIGRP keys. And now we should get our uh, IPv6 adjacency back. And we do. So router 3 never got used here. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and between router 1 and 3, Ethernet 02 and Ethernet 00, let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to set up uh, SHA-256. And let's see if we can do that leveraging the same keys that we already had. So we'll go to global config, router EIGRP, C oops, CCMP, and we'll do it for IPv4. Let me check router. Let's actually see if router 3 is even running show run section EIGRP. All right, and it is running address family mode, so fantastic. So on router 1 here, we're going to say address family IPv4 unicast AS100. We're going to go to AF interface uh, Ethernet 02. And I'm going to say authentication mode. And we're going to use HMAC SHA-256. And we can actually put in a password here. So I'll just say Cisco. And then we're going to say authentication keychain. You can see it tore the adjacency down. EIGRP underscore keys. Authentication keychain EIGRP underscore keys. That's correct. All right. So when I say do show run section EIGRP, let's take a look at Ethernet AF interface for IPv4. We're doing HMAC SHA-256. We put a, a, a password on there. And we've got the authentication keychain EIGRP underscore key. So let's go over to router 3. And let's do the same thing, only this time on Ethernet 00. So we're going to say router EIGRP CCMP. 
We're going to go to Address Family IPv4 Unicast AS Autonomous System 100. And I'm going to say AF interface is going to be Ethernet 00. zero. Let's bring it prompt up here a little bit. All right, so we should be able to say, and in fact, what have we not done yet on router 3? Exactly. We didn't configure the keys. So let's go ahead. We're going to say authentication mode HMAC SHA-256, and Cisco is the password. And then we're going to say authentication keychain EIGRP underscore keys. However, we never created the keychain. So if I type end, and let's do a debug EIGRP packets, let's see what's going on here. Let's see what it reports, uh, if anything. And there you go, right? That opcode 5 is back. Let me say you all to kill the debug. And where was that at? We just saw it a second ago, right here. So router 3 is saying on Ethernet 00, ignored packet from 13.1. We know that's router 1. The opcode is 5 because we've got invalid authentication. So that tells us that something's wrong. Well, we already know that we never configured the keychain. So let's say keychain, and I'm just going to call this ABC. Oh, actually, <laughs> we already named EIGRP underscore keys. In the EIGRP AF interface, I had already put EIGRP underscore key, so we definitely want to keep that the same. So we'll stick with key number one. We'll make the key string. And what was the key string that we used? I can't remember the key string now. So do show run section key string. It was just Cisco in all caps. Remember, this is case sensitive. So key string Cisco. And let's see, in five, within five seconds here, we should see the adjacency pop back up, and there it is. And so on router 3 and router 1, instead of using the MD5, we went ahead, we spiced it up a little bit, and we did what you should actually do in your operational environments, and that's use the HMAC SHA-256. Again, you've got to have a code after 1514, it looks like, uh, and it looks like 15. Two, did we say? Yeah, so right around 15.2, you should find support for it. Uh, and again, I was surprised that in the documentation uh, that it didn't show the first week. There may be another document out there somewhere, uh, and I may have actually looked right by it in here, uh, but I did kind of browse through, and I didn't see any mention uh, as to what the first release was where this is supported. So if you're keeping up with your releases, you shouldn't have a problem. Uh, like if you're running 15.4 code today, I think 15.4.3 um, is the most recent or the Cisco recommended on the ISR G, uh, G2 series. So again, uh, if we were to say show IP or show run section EIGRP, um, that's all it looks like right there, right? We just threw that extra password on there for the hashed message authentication code, SHA. 256. And we're using the same keys that we used with everything else, except we're using a far more complex uh, and more secure authentication method, which is SHA-256. All right, well, this wraps up all of the, um, the activities uh, in the Cisco Learning Labs for our semester. Uh, I will see you guys on Monday night, where we're going to have our review for the final, and have a happy Thanksgiving.